Jackal's another one of those uh, two-player NES games you play play together. Can, can, I, I don't know. It probably was an arcade game back in the day uh, made by Konami. Um, fun, dude. Really fun. Um, I, it's not one of those games I played very much um, when I was younger. It got recommended to me, and so I, we went through, uh, me and my buddy Big Jerry, we went through, through and blowed this game up in you know afternoon. Uh, pretty dang cool. Uh so much of it I don't even remember honestly uh, I remember the boss fight being really tough and then a lot of uh, it's 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 not brutally difficult but there's enough there that you really need to pay attention and then um, just kind of go through and and I, I remember particularly a bit the last boss being something that I just it was one of those things you need to be patient and calm as fuck to beat <laughs> we beat it uh, one of the great things about NES games that were playable with other people is that there just simply wasn't that many of them, and so anyone that came out was really special. And um, when they first when they first came out, they, this a lot of these arcade games were kind of like shitty. They were especially some um, very poorly done ports. Um, of course, you know, 1942, uh, and then like. Um, Kari Warriors is some of the worst damn ports of freaking damn awful uh but later on these the, some of these arcade companies started doing them themselves and you know putting the work in and realizing that you know the nes is going to be a huge thing place it should be as important the R nes port should be almost as important as the arcade game and so uh it's one and, and as you played a lot of these games um they there's these murder simulator game <laughs> freaking murder simulator games they uh they're just they're dumb they're fun blow shit up uh and you know some of my favorite ones were like um Fucking Life Force and Contras is classic. This one is very similar to Guerrilla War. Uh, and so you're riding a Jeep and you got to uh, rescue people. Honestly, I don't even remember what was the point of rescue people or the story. I mean, I, I yeah, I'm a, we'll rescue anybody. We don't blow up. We're jackals, okay? <laughs> so, and so, um, yeah, it, it, lots of good boss fights. Uh, and it's not too long, about an hour. Um, and this is the type of game that, you know, how much do you want to run through something like this um, by yourself? Not too much, but playing with a friend? Yeah, yeah, that's how you want to play this shit. And then, so, just going through and just playing the fuck, and then Jerry died all the time. But, you know, we'll hard carry you, Jerry. That's no problem. We'll hard carry you through the game. Is this the fast boss? Um, I don't even remember. Yeah, this is the last boss. Look how long it fucking take to fight this motherfucker. Uh, but it was one of those things I had to learn the pattern. And, and, and even though I've not played this game in very long, I, this is what I remember. I remember having to fight the fucking boss for like 20 minutes. Uh, it, it's a lot of stuff like this. There's a pattern. You need to be patient, and you gotta catch on with the pattern. If there's a save point, I'm trying to find a damn nice save point. Um, Blaster Masters is another game that has an, a save point um, for their final boss, uh, or for the most part, it'll help you out. Uh, and just you grind it out. Um, a lot of people, when you when they get to bosses like this, the music's in, um, intense, and so they kind of freak out. And it's one of the, you just as over you've played a bazillion NES games over the years. You just can't gotta get calm about this shit, and so um, I don't remember how many other bosses in Jackal were. Nothing, nothing was like this hard. I, I, I remember I didn't have any. I can't remember if we had limited continues or not. Uh, but there's enough continues to beat the game. It might take a little bit of practice, but I did. I didn't want to die. I didn't want to die. We're gonna freaking save every damn one up man we have. I think we're just down to our about how the continues anyway, but. Um, Jack was pretty dang fun, and uh, I want to thank Mr. Uh, Punk and Disorderly Gamer for recommending me that back in the day. Um, hell, we bought we bought the real copy. We didn't just uh, we didn't just use EverDrive or anything like we do these days. We actually had the dang copy of Jackal. Um, but uh, these kind of games, they still hold up today, man. You can still go back and play some of these um, older NES games. Um, some of them, like say Ninja Turtles Arcade, not so hot. Uh, but some of these games that put a little bit of pressure on you, uh, like Jackal right here, it, it, they're still fun to this day. Um, so, from uh, from our brief play experience, uh, we're gonna give it two paws up. Uh, get the music, the music sucking me in already. No, no, don't go back and play this. Day. We got other, we got other reviews to do. We can't be playing this shit again. So, two paws up. Brian loved riding a jeep and running the fuck over people. And killing everything, and then the two players, 
And the fact that it's a solid game, um, a lot of some of these two-player games are, feel like they're about to explode. Like Guerrilla War feels like it's about to, to blow up the, blow up the whole the Nintendo when you're playing this shit. But I mean, it, these these games are still great and they're fun. 